Today, Minnesota takes on the number one ranked defending national champions, the Ohio State Buckeyes, in their first home Big Ten game. Minnesota lost their Big Ten opener to Indiana by seven points and now look to pull off a major upset against a team that's won two of the past three national championships. We will have to see a big step up from last week after Minnesota had two touchdowns allowed while they were on offense, a pick six and a fumble for a touchdown, and the defense needs to step up. We've got to contain the ground game and get after the quarterback. Let's kick off week four. The number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes take the field to open the day as their star player Greg Harper is one to watch out for as we have a lot of trouble with running backs and Harper gets the carry on second down up the middle and he picks up five. The running game is what's hurt our defense the most in these first two games. Now on third down, Dixon goes to the air. Matthew Dixon with the screen pass, caught by Greg Harper. Easy first down pickup, close to Minnesota territory. He shoves Corey Boyd out of the way. He picks up 19. We're already seeing a little bit of what he's capable of. New set of downs, Matthew Dixon back to pass, and there's good coverage downfield, and Dixon just gets rid of it. We'll definitely need somebody in the secondary to step up today. Minnesota forces third down and 10. One five five package, Dixon back to pass. Pressure in, coming, and he's sacked. Maurice Manning ends the drive for Ohio State, and once again, there was great coverage downfield. Good job of the defense on this opening drive. And now the Gophers offense, Andy McKenzie in his third game against the number one team in the nation. Passing on first down is McKenzie to duck it over the middle for a seven yard completion. McKenzie comes with this game, four touchdowns, one interception. McKenzie passing on third and short and Drew Wolotarski makes the reception. He's been very quiet so far this year, that's only catch number six for him. On second down, this time it's the option. McKenzie finds a hole, picks up a block. Now following Carter, first down in the Ohio State territory, 34 yards to Andy McKenzie. His speed is going to be a major asset today. If our offensive line struggles, he's got to get out of the pocket. New set of downs in Buckeye territory. They bring four, McKenzie. Good protection, looking long, it's knocked down inside the five by Burroughs. We have to take our chances carefully in this game, not much room for error. Second down to the ground game, it's Berkeley Edwards inside, he maybe gets four. I think this week we have to do a better job of trusting the running game if it's working. Third down and six, McKenzie to the air, quickly fires over the middle and Eric Carter lays out for a 15 yard reception. Always coming through with big catches. First and ten. Martindale gets the carry up the middle and he'll gain four. It's extremely crucial that our running game gets established today. Two wide left plus Kirkpatrick. McKenzie back to pass. Now out of the pocket. McKenzie. End zone. Got his man open. It's a touchdown to Eric Carter. Minnesota strikes first on the Buckeyes defense. Andy McKenzie rolls out. Plenty of time. Nobody around him and nobody around Carter. 7-0. A picture-perfect start for Minnesota as Ohio State's second drive is underway and Greg Harper gashes up the middle, runs through a defender into Minnesota territory. These are the plays that we really cannot afford to allow today. New set of downs, Minnesota bringing four. Dixon fires and hooks up with Wilson, just shy of the marker, nine yards. 3.42 to play in the first. Minnesota falls back into his zone. Dixon looks sideline and caught by Jeremy Mason. That one looked pretty close though to being out of bounds, no challenge. Dixon fakes the draw, clean pocket now fires, end zone, it's intercepted! Andre Gaines, and Minnesota's great start continues. Ohio State very close to tying it up, but Gaines gets a big interception, 7-0, Gopher ball. McKenzie and the Gophers are out, Martindale next to McKenzie who gets the draw up the middle who will push forward. It's a gain of six, not a bad carry for Martindale. But what does Minnesota do in these short yardage situations? On third and two they pass, McKenzie quick and Duncan has the catch. First down Minnesota by a hair. New set of downs as Minnesota goes three wide, McKenzie. Here's the blitz and McKenzie goes down in the pocket. Nine yard loss and this is what plagued the offense last week taking sacks, moving backwards, and digging into holes like this. Third and 18, McKenzie panics, dumps it off to Martindale, and a short gain results in a fourth and long upcoming. Minnesota will have to kick it away. 
Morris with the boot and Greg Harper from his own 24. Has a shot to return as he picks up a block, stays on his feet. More blocks picked up as Harper in Minnesota territory. It's a 29 yard return. It's excellent starting field position as our defense tries to get their third stop in this Buckeye offense. Dixon now a three option. He fakes and has room to run. He's close to the marker. That is enough to move the chains and you guys know how much we struggle with the option game. May have to get a spy in effect, but Dixon drops back and now looks to scramble right up the middle and Matt Smith tackles him after a seven yard pickup. Surprisingly an empty backfield look on third down one as Dixon fakes the keeper. Fires and caught inside the 10 by McQueen. Inside the 5, a 24-yard gain. Striking distance again for Ohio State. Harper is back in the game. He gets it on second down and going. A wide open hole is there as Harper runs through for a four-yard touchdown. Ohio State is on the board. That silences the crowd and the game is tied. Now we'll see how Minnesota answers back with Ohio State tying the game. McKenzie. He'll float out of the pocket and runs away from defenders. He has the first down and is out of bounds. 13 yards. First down at the 45-yard line. And McKenzie hands off to Martindale. Trying to run left. And the speed of this defense is going to make it very hard for us to run off tackle. Second down and eight. And now McKenzie will call his own number. Big block by Edwards. And McKenzie gets his ankles tackled from behind. But it's still an 11-yard first down. Two receivers in the set for Minnesota, both to the right as McKenzie looks to pass. Protection breaking down, he tries to escape with good coverage downfield. McKenzie sacked again. This one's only a loss of five, and Minnesota will need a big play on third down. Needing 11, McKenzie, they bring the blitz again, trying to run away. McKenzie breaks free, but nobody open, and McKenzie will end up losing one. The drive stalls. Ohio State will now take over after this punt. Morris booting it to the corner, and this one is out of bounds ahead of the goal line at the two. Now the Buckeyes have to avoid a safety. Perez in motion. Here's Harper breaking a tackle at the goal line, avoiding disaster as he does gain two. Third down and eight. Perez in motion again, and they will fake it, and Dixon is tackled for a two-yard loss. Great job by Dan Smith. Senior making a big play. And now Minnesota will try to block the punt. Nichols gets it away. But Clark at his own 45, trying to cross the 50. Can he do any more damage? He gets to the Buckeye 45, and it's a nine-yard return. So the defense does a good job of helping Minnesota play the field position game. Second down for McKenzie, firing outside. There's Kirkpatrick breaking free from a defender. He gains 10, third down and short upcoming. Minnesota needing three, and they elect to go to the air. McKenzie with the blitz, goes outside, and Kirkpatrick's there again. First down catches, Minnesota's short passing game is helping protect against this rush. Ohio State bringing four, and protection breaks down as McKenzie tries to go outside, and that one was dangerous. Mitchell with a deflection, Minnesota will face third down and three. Carter ducking and Wontarski, McKenzie back to pass. And out of the backfield to his trusty running back, Kevin Martindale, for a seven-yard reception. And Martindale is hurt after the play. Looks like he's grabbing his wrist or arm. He leaves the field. Berkeley Edwards is in. First down, McKenzie. Ball comes out, but luckily Minnesota recovers. Again, Ohio State gets to McKenzie, and second down and long is forced. McKenzie hands off to Edwards. He breaks free and jukes out a defender as he picks up nine yards. Makes it manageable now. Third down and nine. Clock running out. Maybe the last play for Minnesota. Third down. End zone and touchdown! Wolitarski with the catch. Minnesota has taken the lead with seven seconds to go in the first half. Andy McKenzie to Drew Wolitarski. It's 14 to seven as we head into the break. Minnesota trying to pull off a major upset, and we're off to a great start. It's got to continue. The first half featured a great start by the Gophers, getting a big stop on Ohio State to open the game. A touchdown, followed by an interception. It's 14-7, and Minnesota ball to open the third. Trying to continue this push as McKenzie is sacked. Offensive line once again having a lot of trouble. We're doing a better job of game planning around it today. Third down and 13, they blitz. McKenzie goes down. Minnesota only sends three receivers downfield and still good coverage plus the pass rush. Now it's Buckeye ball. Dixon fakes and runs outside. Looking for room as he's across the 40 and picks up five. 
They're really trying to exploit our main weakness, which is the option defense combined with just running the ball. Dixon fakes the Harper again as he has the first down. This is a gain of eight. They don't seem too interested in throwing the ball too much, so Minnesota trying to key in on the run game. Hand off to Seward, and he's hitting the backfield. Minnesota plays aggressively to the ground game, and Matt Smith gets the big tackle for loss. Back to Greg Harper. Not sure how he got through that, but Minnesota gets him down after a gain of 12, third and two. And it looks like Harper is shaken up on the play. Seward back into the game, third down and two. And Dixon will pass. Quick outside, and Mason with the reception. Breaks from one and gets seven yards and a first down. Buckeyes trying to retie the game. Dixon give to Seward with room up the middle, and Seward picks up a solid nine here, setting up second down and short. Minnesota with only two down linemen as Dixon from the gun back to pass. And he looks to the end zone, but it's knocked down by the big man in the middle, Maurice Hudson. Third and one. Minnesota get a big stop here. Harper back in the game. Give to Greg Harper. He's fighting and is into the end zone. Touchdown, Greg Harper. And that will tie the game at 14. This has been a great game. We're halfway through the third quarter as Ohio State kicks it away in David Clark. Looking to take it out across the 10, outside of the 20. Room to run across the 40. Now a spin move, and he has a 49-yard return in good starting field position for the Golden Gophers. Minnesota going to the ground. It's Kevin Martindale on a nice run up the middle. This time it's good for 10. A slow start to the ground game, but you always know we want to stick with it. Third and inches. And Martindale easily picks up a conversion across the 50 into plus territory. Only two wide for Minnesota, trying to have extra blockers for McKenzie as he's back to pass with a clean pocket. Now looking deep, has a man in, touchdown! Doug Duck at 42 yards! Andy McKenzie gets great protection and Minnesota gets the big passing play behind the defense. Tie game no more. The Gophers trying to put Ohio State on upset alert. It's a seven-point game as Ohio State takes over. They go to Greg Harper, who is so powerful inside. Trying to bust out a hurdle there as well. He gained 11. Third down and four for Ohio State. And they'll go to the ground game as Seward picks it up very easily as the blocking was great. 14 yards on this run. They keep spreading out our defense. Wilson comes in motion, and they go to the ground. It's Seward up the middle, and that's good for seven. Third down and inches. Minnesota stacking the box, and Dixon from the shotgun. Hand off to Seward. In the backfield, he stopped. Big play for Minnesota's defense. It's De Niro Lester, the senior. That forces a field goal attempt for Ohio State. Kick is up. He nailed it, but it's 21 to 17. Minnesota leads by four in the third quarter. Both sides of the ball for Minnesota have played well today. Now they'll have the ball with a four-point lead as Clark takes it out of the end zone again. Outside cut of the 20, Clark to the 30, gets a block to the 40 and hit from behind and wrapped up. It's a 53-yard return. Again, a pretty short field for Minnesota. First and 10, here's Martindale. Makes a cut up the middle, picks up a block, and Kevin Martindale! Goodbye, touchdown, Gophers! 52 yards on the opening play of the drive. Martindale has been bottled up for most of the day, but here he uncorks the big play and gives Minnesota a two-score lead. How will the Buckeyes answer now down by 11? The biggest deficit today. To the ground with Harper and Laster makes a stop after only a two-yard pickup. Third down and seven. Ohio State, they go right back to the ground. Greg Harper stopped again. This time it's Matt Smith. Three and out. What a game today by the Gophers. We have not made many mistakes. Late in the third quarter, now to Martindale again. It won't be 52, but he's still fighting towards the marker. That one's a solid gain of 10. Minnesota now just trying to run as much clock off as possible. Martindale gets it. He keeps it inside, staying on his feet for a gain of 6. Once again, moving the chains. Now to the pistol. We've been on the shotgun for most of the day as Thompson gets the carry, and we unleash the fullback who picks up 5. Big down for Minnesota, third down and six, trying to extend this possession as McKenzie. With good coverage, and McKenzie hit from behind, and his pass was nearly intercepted. A much needed stop for the Buckeyes, who take over on offense, 11 point game, 6.20 to go. Right back to Harper. 
fighting up the middle and not enough for the first down. It's a third down and one. Can Minnesota get another stop here? They bring a man in motion and give to Harper. No stop this time as Harper rumbling up the middle of the field for a 15-yard gain. They've been feeding Harper here in the fourth quarter on first and ten. That will continue. Off tackle gets a block. First down, Greg Harper, and he's tackled by Parker after a 13-yard gain. Second down upcoming as Dixon this time will pass. Has a man wide open, it's Perez the tight end. He is down to the 24 after a 14 yard reception. In the red zone are the Buckeyes. Dixon to Seward, up the middle. First down Ohio State. They've moved slowly but surely down the field. Now inside the 10, four and a half to go. Dixon to throw. Time in the pocket, end zone. Caught by Clark and he did not break the plane. Apparently down at the one. So Ohio State on first down and goal. Minnesota stacking the line as the handoff goes to the fullback. Moore and he is in. Touchdown Ohio State. Now we expect a two point conversion to make it a field goal game. They come out with three wide receivers in the pistol formation. Dixon takes the snap. Rolling right, throwing left and it's good. Three point game with four minutes to go. What a battle between these two teams. Minnesota trying to hang on, 4.15 left. They'll have to run out as much clock as possible as Clark feels the kick out of his end zone, and he will not get a big return this time. He's down at the 25-26. And now we count on our ground game. First and 10, it's Berkeley Edwards, and he will pick up about four on this carry. That takes us to under four minutes remaining. Pistol diamond package. This time it's Martindale to the left side, and he is down ahead of the marker. Third down and inches. Key down for Minnesota, they go to the I formation. And this will be Martindale, he picks up the first down and more. Following his fullback Thompson across the 50 at 17 yards to Kevin Martindale. And more time will come off the clock. First and 10, Edwards trying to bounce out to the left side. Now as he is down, it's a gain of six as the Buckeyes begin to use timeouts. Second down, Edwards. Again to the left side, and he's taken down at the 40. Third down and two. Can Minnesota do it again? Ohio State needs a stop. Martindale runs into his own man, and the second effort will get the first down. Minnesota moves the chains. It looked like it might be a tackle for loss. He runs into Thompson and somehow muscles through to get the first down. Minnesota can now take knees, but it looks like there'll be some tie left on the clock after three of these. Third down for Minnesota as McKenzie takes another knee, and now Minnesota has to punt and try to take the rest of the time off the clock. Play clock winding down. They take a timeout with six seconds left. Six seconds away from taking down the number one team in the nation. The punting unit is out. It's Morris. He'll kick it sky high. The kick is away, drifting out of bounds. And one second on the clock. The Buckeyes will have one play to keep their winning streak alive. They have to go about 87 yards. Here we go. Last chance. Dixon will throw it as far as he can. Deep down the field and incomplete. Knocked away by Corey Boyd in the last second, and Minnesota has taken down number one Ohio State. We did it. The upset is complete. What a game here in week four. You could not have asked for much more from Minnesota today. The offense looks really good. No turnovers, a couple big plays for touchdowns. McKenzie started it off with three touchdown passes. And then the ground game took over with Kevin Martindale having an exceptional second half and deservingly being the player of the game in this major upset. Down goes the number one team, and we've just shaken up the Big Ten. We lost to Indiana, but of course we made plenty of mistakes in that game. We lost that game by seven. Today, making as few mistakes as we maybe could have, we see what's possible. This team can hang with some of the best teams in the nation if we play at our best. Welcome to the top 25, Minnesota. Now we'll try to prove that this wasn't a fluke. We take on Iowa next week. They're 3-0. This should be a good rivalry game. Thanks for watching, guys. We did it. Took down number one Ohio State. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new. We take on the Iowa Hawkeyes next week and I'll also show our recruiting board for the first time this season. Have a great day. I'll see you guys then.